Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of Throw. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a split screen type of game in Ascend Combat Framework. So let's go ahead and get started. This is going to be a pretty short tutorial. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. So what we're going to do is just go ahead to our level blueprint by opening up this blueprint icon and clicking open level blueprint. And now next to event begin play, I'm just going to create a local player and the controller ID will automatically be set to negative one. And that's exactly how we want it. So I'm just going to hit compile and save. And now when I click these three dots, I'm going to go to net mode and do play as listen server. I can leave the number of players as one for now. And that's totally fine. So now when I hit play, you're going to see that there is a top and bottom and the inputs of whatever you assign for the bottom character will be those inputs. I only have my top ones assigned. So let's say you wanted to split screen a different direction. Uh, this is exactly how you do it. So hit escape to cancel that out. Or you're gonna head over, you're gonna head over to edit project settings and under maps and modes there is gonna be a button of a two player split screen layout which is horizontal currently and a three player split screen and four player and so on so if I were to change this to vertical and go back to my map and hit play then you're gonna get like a it takes two style of split screen where characters on the left and right and if you wanted to add more more characters then I'll change this back to horizontal actually and let's do favors top in this case for a three player and four player let's do grid so I'll go back to that demo map and just add a couple more create local player and I'll still keep the controller ID as negative one so when I hit compile and save go back to the demo map and hit play you're gonna see that there are four grids now one for each type of character and you would just have to set up the inputs if you're all if you're playing on different screens and so on and yeah and let's say you're not doing split screen and you just want something to be online for example like steam or something then what you're going to do is just create multiple player start so i've created one here one here one over there and one way further there and all you need to do is click on these three dots change the number of players to four go over to that demo map and i'm just going to erase everything after event begin play hit compile and save and now when i hit play in this mode, it'll pop up a total of four characters that I can control. And now in this case, you'll see that it is perfectly replicated because Ascent Combat Framework is already uh, all written in C++ and native to replication. And you'll see my character moving on my screens perfectly. There's no issues. You can even alt tab to switch windows. So for example, I can go ahead and move this one on the right. Pretty awesome how ACF can just easily make multiplayer games like that. Thanks for watching Code of the Row. Like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next, and I'll see you in the next video. This is just a very beginner friendly tutorial, but we will get deeper and we will take a much deeper dive into the multiplayer aspect, such as creating a UI, how to get players to join, connecting to Steam, and so on. Thanks for watching, stay subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.